Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another replay cast. The last video I did, you guys seemed to really love. It was about Barracks and how he's been just crushing it on the ladder, sitting at number one. And he's actually been continuing to rise, now sitting at 2920, still in that number one spot. So I figured we would follow up here in this video and we would take a look at his TVC matchup here and see how it compares to his TVP. I want to see if he's winning most of these games in the early game or how he's playing it. Do a little analysis here, a little investigation once again. I'm going to start off with his most recent games and especially I'm going to focus on well-known players, but I'll also throw in some lesser known players and some unknown players as well. That'll be coming up a little bit later in the video. So let's jump into the first one. All right, taking a look at the first game. This is the most recent of Barracks games here. I think it was played yesterday or today. Let me just confirm that here. Yeah, 22 hours ago as of recording this video. So very, very recent game here. And it caught my eye right off the bat. So I figured we'd start off with this one. Soma, of course. Fantastic, fantastic player here in the bottom right. And it's on La Campania as well. Barracks over here in the bottom left. And one thing to mention about La Campania is you've got this uh, natural base. I'm sorry, it's over here. And behind the natural minerals, there's a bunch of open space back there. And you can't actually slip lings or marines back there. However, you can bring an SCV with you to the Zerg natural. Put the marine right up next to the mineral patch and then the SCV on the mineral patch and then hop the marine over the mineral patch and then the Zerg player just basically can't mine from their natural for quite some time. Okay, finally we can see the natural. So put put your marine right there. You start mining here with the SCV and then you hop over and you just sit there and be super annoying. There's really not much that the Zerg player can do, at least for the uh, very early stages of the game. Maybe they can build a sunken colony or something. Uh, I don't know what the best response is, uh, but it is like almost a game ender if the Marine manages to get over there. Not quite a game ender, but it's close, man. It's really, really hard to deal with. And um, we haven't seen that trick pulled off by too many recent uh, Terran players. And I don't think he's going to pull it off this game either. Uh, he's probably going to send that Marine out, but... Uh, we'll see if he just heads directly across the map and tries to get this done. I'm going to see this drone here. Does take a shot with that drone. That's the best he could do. Uh, usually you can get like two shots off and then run away. But it uh, looks like uh, Soma just being a little cautious there. Only going to take one pot shot with that drone and then head on back home. We've got the Overlord here. Probably going to be placed right around here maybe. Just to see when the... Uh, Marines start to move. You can definitely hop this across this little gap here. You might take some damage, but you should be able to make it with just two, three Marines in that position. Barracks has his army out a little bit out uh, of range of this Overlord. And he might be thinking about, you know, maybe I can keep building Marines here and kind of surprise Soma. Uh, if he doesn't build too many lings, maybe come across the map with like five marines. He's at least going to probably catch a ling or two. Oh, he saw the overlord and he thought about going for it. But that's when someone pulled back. Okay, he's going to lose one ling. It's a little bit frustrating. Uh, as long as this is out of the vision for Soma, he can't really, he can't count out the option here for the army to just move across the map for these marines to just move across the map and do deal some damage so he has to build more links he's only built one pair it's gonna start another one here but the marines are coming they are on the way now this scv is quite low but the marines are gonna make their way right into the natural here and i don't think we're ready soma he's gonna take some damage for sure targeting the drones could be really really good here looks like he's just Targeting the drones now. Getting one drone so far. I think Soma's time to pull back with these drones. Just keep as many of them alive as possible. Ooh, that was a really good pullback. And he gets that last marine as well. One more marine still running away. But I think this drone will get it. 
There it is. He does get that last round. So that was an amazing hold, actually, by Soma here. I think that was five Marines killed, and all he did was trade one drone and a few links. You're happy to trade those links out here. Um, you don't need them. There's no reason to have links right now. If they're not out on the map, and they're not planning to push for some time, yeah, and he's even going to build a sunken colony, so he doesn't need links right now. There's really no reason to have them. But you would love to have a group of Marines back here as the Terran player. Losing that early group of Marines is just devastating because the Spire timing is still going to come through here. He's still going to have quite a few Mutas. And these are not normal Mutas, guys. These are Soma Mutas. They're a little bit different. Just a little bit. Well, they're the same. But they're actually built a tiny bit different, it seems. Just from experience, I've seen... Soma do things with mutas that makes you feel like they have extra damage, they have extra HP. I don't know what it is, but he just makes it look a little bit OP. Looks like we're going to have a evolution chamber here at the front. Creep colony. Going to be morphed behind that. Army making its way over here. The, the two racks timing. I'm surprised he's still going with this after losing so many Marines in the early game. But he's going to come out here. He can't break this. He's only got one medic. I mean, yeah, you can try that. But uh, I don't think this is going to work too well for you here. He does come up with uh, some fire bats. I would love to see him just actually run by with the fire bats right now. Just run and start killing drones. Let the marines fight. Um, drones are going to be pulled back into the main. We've got Mutas hopping out now. He's got to be really careful not to lose. A bunch of drones right now. Oh, he gets one drone. Okay. So one drone goes down. Are we going to lose one Muta? Yes. One Muta goes down. One drone falls as well. So honestly, again, very nicely held here by Soma. I didn't think that was a good idea what uh, Barracks was trying to do there. And I think I was just proven right because that did hardly any damage. The third gas is going to come up here soon. We still have plenty of drones. We're sitting here on 24 he knows that his opponent can't move out right now, so, you know, he can start to harass with 5-6 Muta and then just drone up really, really hard. Get this going here. Looks like he just lost an Overlord somewhere. Okay, an Overlord went down here in the top left. That's actually super annoying. Really, really super annoying uh, that he managed to find that, that Barracks managed to find that and kill that one random Overlord way out in, uh, on this top side of the map. You're... The, the game is being played on the southern uh, half of the map. I don't know why these Marines were sent out there, but Barracks having a bit of that star sense, finding that is pretty decent for him. But we'll see how he holds these Mutas, because like I said, they are built different. They just do a little bit more damage than other players with the same unit number. Soma seems to be able to do just that much more. And here he comes in to the natural. Going to start to harass from behind. But immediate move out here from Barracks. And it's not easy to get back over here, man. It is not easy. Especially when you fly behind here. He lost one Muta. And we've already got the Marine group halfway across the map. It's almost here already. So that's not good. Soma's going to be forced all the way back across the map. And he only got like one, two maybe SCVs. Maybe a bit more than that, but still, not the greatest here for Soma. Now he's got to deal with this Marine Medic group on the map. Um, SCV count is very nice and high here. We've got the transition coming for Barracks. He's playing a very nice game so far. I I think the two racks timing after the five Marine move out seemed a bit wasteful, but he's still fighting very well. He even kills two Mutas there. Wow. Really impressive micro from him. A little bit lackluster for Soma, though. You don't actually have to engage this until it starts to, you know, run forward like this. Or uh, if it uh, really starts to threaten the natural here. If they're sitting out here, it's not that big of a deal. And you can force them to keep stimming and stuff like that uh, without fully engaging. But it looks like now with Soma engaging that army and finishing it off... He's going to look to grab a fourth base here, and he's going to choose this base over here in the center right, and I definitely agree with that choice. Uh, with the back base here, he should be able to get four gases rolling, and we've got a greater Spire on the way. So actually, Soma going to follow this up 
with a guardian play very interesting and we've got some uh valkyries gonna come out here for the barracks and what did he actually see i think he just saw that he definitely saw the hydra and i think he might have seen the greater spire as well so he has the science facility on the way but we'll see what he continues to build here out of these uh two starports will he go for a couple of wraiths will he go for more valkyries here is he going to um get into science vessel now looks like more valkyries coming out we've got some scourge on the way all the uh, mutas are being forced back he can't stand over this wall now and actually kill the extractor so that's a bit of a problem here for soma and soma gonna have to morph his guardians on the other side of the map look he's so far away from barracks's uh side of the map this is really a big problem for him he's gonna lose this gas geyser and now he's just sitting here on two gas not very good moment here for soma not gonna be able to mine from that tries to connect with some scourge but just can't get it pretty good micro so far from oh he does get one hit but eats a lot of damage from those uh from those valkyries here hydra number is pretty high that's a lot of guardians this is gonna be tough for barracks to hold but he's already got a position out here on the map which is half the battle you really want to be not in your natural right here when the guardians arrive you want to be somewhere out on the map and he's managed to get that done he's also got an in he's got the information about where that is he's gonna flank this it appears he wants to go around this army try to hit this from behind maybe catch all of the reinforcements here and look at that he's just spotted it now soma's just spotted that that army has gone around his and he's gonna start to hit the natural of barracks barracks has one valkyrie out here he's gonna run forward and snipe that down good targeting here with those hydras but that's a big clump of guardians the guardians are so clumped up right now and the uh oh god the guardians just get melted holy crap those valkyries put in so much work there and with that i think that he has done it yes he has gg soma taps out absolutely melted like ice cream in july man this guy just disappeared that guardian army completely gone there and well played by barracks Whew, well that was unfortunate to say the least those guardians um watching them explode they were so stacked up in that last game made me made me cringe a little bit actually i I do like to use that build. That's like a, it's like a zealot build kind of, and it is very hard to pull off when you have to micro or you have to uh, make your guardians back at home. Like if the Terran has map control at that point, you are in a very bad way. And uh, Barracks played it very nicely. You know, there he made sure that there was really no chance for Soma in that engagement. He was going to hit it from the side. And from the back, kind of pins her attack there, flanking that army, making sure he wins. Very well done. Um, but it's cool to see Soma also trying that build, you know? I haven't really seen him use the Guardian build much before. So it's interesting to see him trying that out. And uh, it didn't work out this time, but maybe he will uh, try it again in the future. We'll see. Next up, we've got Queen here in top right-hand corner. He's going to be... Uh, going up against Barracks, of course, on Lock and Banea once again. So, uh, again, with this wacky map, we're going to see whether or not Barracks is using the same exact build against Queen as he did with Soma. This was played a little bit before, I think, like uh, a couple of days before that Soma game. So, we'll see. We'll see what he decides to pull out here. He's got the Barracks here at the front. It's a little bit easier of a wall to make, but there are some serious gaps in here, right? Like, I think this is a gap. I know this is a gap. So, yeah, links can slip through there, but it's nice to have just so you can, you know, put an SCV there or here and get some Marines behind in case there's some sort of ling all in it. it. It really just prevents a ling all in is what this thing does. And it maybe allows you to not build as many Marines. If you... So choose. If you decide, you know what? I'm just not going to build that many Marines this game. 
Okay, now this is actually a tight wall. This might build, still be a hole, but this is a tight wall now. It's funny how that works, but supply depot over supply depot is tight to lings, and supply depot over barracks is also tight to lings. So this is a tight wall. And yeah, like I was saying, you can just not build marines. You know, maybe get one or two and then build a command center. If you scout right away, you can actually, uh, if you see that there's no links being made, you can just go directly into command center without building any marines at all. But he's built a couple and that's good because he saw that there are links out here on the field and the links are being spread out to try their best to find out where barracks is. But you know what? They're not really going to find much because three marines here behind this wall you're not really going to want to try and bust that here as queen especially with an scv in your base it's just not going to happen so trying to get rid of this scv as quickly as possible if he gets rid of this scv then barracks really can't move out because you don't know if there's going to be a ling all in or not coming um the overlord seeing most of the stuff but i don't know if he knows about this four marines coming here and i think he just realized it but luckily he didn't lose any links because i think if uh barracks kills any links here he's gonna push a lot more aggressively but with with him not being able to kill any of those links he's gonna be a bit more careful here now i'm moving out with six marines i think we've got a approximately six maybe five lings out so maybe he did lose one ling if i'm just looking at the uh minimap correctly yeah we've got five lings and these guys have a kill yeah he's got a kill okay so he did manage to kill one ling um probably just a scout at the front here but anyway marines are now behind this wall in the scv is no longer the base so as you can see with the SCV no longer here checking to see if there's a Ling all incoming or not, he can't really move out. So he's just going to sit back here behind the wall. Just kind of chill for now as he gets into his two racks play. Academy and second racks is coming up. We've got the Spire on the way. I think we're going to see another two barracks move out here. And Queen taking a similar approach to what Soma did, right? He's uh, going for a two hatch play. Um, we'll see if he goes and puts the third hatch back behind here after making the mutas or not. Uh, I think that's what Soma did. Looks like SCV just barely going to slip in here. As the creep colony is coming down, this move out is coming forward. Ooh, these are kind of exposed. Queen could get some good kills here. Gets a good surround. Gets a couple of marines and a third. There we go. Three marines go down and just a couple of lings end up dying there. Which is definitely a big win here for Queen. He gets the SCV as well. Delays his own mining for a second, but that's fine. Um, as long as the Sunken Colony finishes, he should be fine. Big stim here. Barracks running forward. But with the Sunken Colony finish, he's not going to be able to take on this fight. And it looks like Queen just going to force him back for now. Um, should be able to get like six mutas popping immediately. And yeah, he does. There's the, the drone popping over mineral patch he's gonna go ahead and take that immediately so very reminiscent of soma's play on this map and i wonder if this is just stock standard for the map or or what it is here now um he's gone for attack so i don't think he's gonna go for a guardian build more likely when you when you go guardian the more likely to get the carapace just because it helps out so much versus uh valkyrie and also marines when they're trying to shoot the guardians but um, going for attack here is much more standard. And maybe he'll go for more of an all-in muta play here. I'm not sure just yet, but neither is Barracks. He's just kind of sniffing things out right now. He's trying not to take any damage. He's built these supply depots at the front. This is the, the kind of bad part about the wall in here at the front is that it gives your opponent an option an, an area to attack in here it's done great job picking off marines so far and the mutalist ball is getting a little bit low some of these mutas are quite low on hp as you can see so depending on what the turrets target he could end up losing them um still able to one shot scvs for now though but once he loses i think one or two more he's really delaying this factory a lot once he loses one or two of these mutas, he's not going to be able to get those one shots anymore. So he will have to back away and 
actually not losing much of anything here. Queen doing a great job in this early game. His drone count was extremely low, just popped up from 18 to 21. So he did manage to get a few more drones here to these mineral patches. He's gonna come into the natural once again. Start to hit some of these turrets. Killing off two turrets here, but losing a, a, a Mutalus. Still surprising that he's only lost one so far. Um, unless I'm mistaken about that. Maybe he did lose one over here. Can't quite remember. Uh, didn't see it properly. Coming in again. Pulling out the damaged Mutalus. Now, actually, pulling out the damaged Mutalus is a... It's not a dead giveaway, but it is kind of a sign here that we might be seeing him go directly into Guardian, actually. So I said he probably wasn't going Guardian with that plus one, but maybe he is. We've already got the Queen's Nest on the way. We do not have an Evo Chamber, and I do not see a Hydralis Den, so... <laughs> Queen is not the type of guy who goes into... Uh, guardian play either, guys. This is not typical queen, but he might actually... Oh, okay. He do does have a Hydra Sten. Whoa, I missed it completely. All right. We have a Lurker on the way. Okay. I was um, getting excited there for a second, guys, but I missed that building due to all of the skirmishing that was going on here. Really great micro by Zero, aka Queen. Picking off a lot more Marines than he's losing mutas right now but he's starting to take some serious damage on them the health is getting pretty darn low he's gonna swap back in one of those damage mutas to make sure he's got the full 11 but now the mutas are just altogether very very low and he's gonna do this tactic right here where he's gonna try to bait out some stims oh that was not a good move you do not want to fly into those of course but He's trying to bait out some stims, trying to get the Terran player to just stim, waste some medic energy. You can see the medics are getting very low on that energy, just five energy on this. Whereas uh, the Marines have been healed up. They can't keep doing this for much longer. Like one or two more stims, and then they're just not gonna have, st they're not gonna have the, the, the medic energy to heal up after a stim. So he's gotta be very careful. Uh, we've got double Scourge here. He's gonna try and get the connection. He does get one connection. He tries to go for the dive on that. Doesn't quite get it. And now his mutas are very, very low. This is going to be healed back up. A good connection with the one Scourge. He could have followed up with two volleys. He would have got the Valkyrie, but a little bit uh, off there. And some good micro from his opponent here. Barracks able to put things together. Able to get these Valkyries out on the field. Now, do we have any Lurkers just yet? No. But the Lurkers are in the eggs. They're about to pop out. There they are. Lurkers have popped. Queen is safe. But Barracks, is he crazy enough to try and dive this? Big Lurker. Oh my god, he actually killed it before the second Lurker got his shot off. That is huge. Holy, all four Lurkers went down there. Some amazing targeting, actually, from Barracks here. Really impressive. I thought that those two lurkers were gonna burrow. They're both gonna sh target the center of that marine group and like basically all of them were gonna die. Great dodging as well. Oh my goodness, Barracks is on fire, man. This guy, watch out everybody. Barracks is just killing it here. So Queen trying to come back in, look for some kills. Picking off a siege tank would be amazing as well. And this is like the fantasy push here, actually. This is the way that uh, we've seen Fantasy play a ton of games. Not only on this map, but a lot of maps, but especially on this map, because you can actually push over here and kill this gas. Um, it's very, very powerful. It's so scary to play against this. It comes so quickly, you're just not going to have time to get your Defilers out. But look at that. As I say that, the... Consume upgrade is nearly complete here. Oh, one tank. All right, that's the move that Fantasy does never, he never makes, man. Fantasy never makes that mistake, specifically walking too far forward with the tank. You cannot be losing a tank right now. Otherwise, the strategy just does not work. Siege mode finishes. He's going to back away here, probably behind the sunken colonies, and just wait for a few more seconds for that defiler to pop. He's got the consume upgrade and he will be safe. So not hitting the build quite like fantasy. 
We can't blame him though. Fantasy, an incredible, incredible player. He's like a next level player, honestly. Some of my fantasy, some of my fantasy casts have been my favorite cast. Seriously, he is so damn good. But there's still options here for Barracks. He can try to push over here. It's up to Queen now to come out with a big army and actually crush this uh, before he starts to lose too many drones and loses this gas over here. He's going to come forward with the two lurkers. It's like the first irradiate went down on the defiler. So he doesn't have a defiler for the time being. Another defiler going to pop out here. The dark swarm going to go down a little bit closer to this army and he should be able to stop this although he's gonna lose a lot of drones damn a lot of drones go down there and he loses the gas as well i would have liked to see him actually pull away the drones here at least the ones from the minerals maybe leave the ones on the gas but pull away the ones on the minerals uh for that small bit of time where barracks has control over this area it's just not worth it to be mining from these few mineral patches when you're gonna end up losing a bunch of drones here so he will kill off that last tank, but honestly, this has gone really well for Barracks. Barracks, he killed the gas. He killed a bunch of drones. He dropped that drone count down. He's managed to kill a couple of those defilers. He hasn't lost that first vessel. This looks like he's kind of forgotten about it. Maybe it's lost to him. It's lost, but um, there it is. Now he's finally paying attention to it. He will be able to come forward and get an irradiate down here. Great irradiate there. Plague is done, but he doesn't really have a good plague opportunity. So he's just going to drop some dark swarms and loses another defiler. And we still have energy here. Next defiler that pops out, he's going to be able to irradiate that as well. He's taking a third base. He's really pumping. Oh, he's switching. Oh my god. Did fantasy just warg into Barracks' body here in this cast? What is going on? The fantasy build, I, I mean, it feels like Barracks is just straight up copying him right at this point, going straight into a mech game. I'm joking, of course, but this is just so fantasy, man. This is exactly what he does. I should have noticed with that plus one uh, attack upgrade coming for the um, for the ground army here, for the for the mech army, that that would be coming in five. Valkyrie's floating around here. He's got to be careful not to get plagued, of course, but those Valkyries can just rip apart these ultra or these overlords. They can shred all of the mutas as well. He's coming over here. He's going to kill this gas again. Very frustrating. He's going to kill this uh, Defiler with the Irradiate. He only eats a few or a, a plague on a few Marines, so that's completely fine. Stopping the gas is the most important thing here in Queen. He's trying to get into Hydralis Defiler uh, with Lurker Ling as quickly as he can. But now there are mines here at the front. Ooh, he should have gone for a plague there. That would have been a juicy, juicy plague on that entire bio force. But he throws down the Dark Swarm instead and holds that position. Now some overloads going down over here. Tanks are being sent in the middle of the map. And guys, I cannot express to you enough how bad it is if you end up getting contained here. Uh, as the Zerg player, if there's mines over here and here and all over here and the tanks line is spread out here, it is just so hard. Even if the tank line is just here and there's mines in front of it and you can still maybe run around trying to take a base or something, it's just so bad when the Terran controls, controls the middle. And he really needs to break this right here, right now. He needs to go, 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 go. So he's sending across the links. Wow, really lucky kill on that mine there. The, all the links attacking at once. Managing to kill that before the mine detonated. He's going to get these tanks in the middle. And that's a huge win for Queen. Queen able to pick off those tanks. Means that that position is reset. And what I talked about earlier, the danger. Oh my god, he gets a great plague on these marines as well. The danger has been averted. That danger of having... Oh, man, these Marines are just going to explode. Holy crap, so many of them dying so quickly to all of these Hydras. They've actually got plus two. I thought they would have plus one attack by now, but they don't. Going to run in here, hit this center left. I'm liking this game for Queen now. He's going to kill a bunch of SCVs here. Holy, so many SCVs, so many medics go down. There's still a little bit of life. Maybe Barracks can take this space at the back. He's still got the command center. Oh, God, he's not floating away. He's not floating away, guys. What is he doing? Barracks is not leaving. 
Oh, running forward here is not good. Great connections on those mines, dealing a ton of damage to all these units, but he's picking off more tanks. Still shoving forward here. Queen trying to go for the win. Big detonation there on another mine. Backing away. GG is called. Barracks taps out. Queen takes him down. Huh. Very interesting. Okay. Well. Barracks messing around with some fantasy play, man. Messing around with the mech transition out of you know, that uh, early tank Valkyrie push. So I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's very strong when Fantasy does it. It didn't look nearly as strong here when Barracks tried it, but you know, you can't harm, you can't uh, fault him for trying. And he almost got through Queen here. He almost, you know, completely shut down this base. Had he had more mines here and more tanks coming up with the Marine reinforcements, he might have been able to hold that position. And this might have been a completely different game. Also, you know, maybe if he'd taken a more conservative position back here with the tanks and put mines in a circle around this, you know, and just focus on getting this base and this base and really pumping up. One thing we see with Fantasy is when he does that mech transition, he double expands with it. So he'll take two bases and he'll start to really pump out uh, the, the, the tank army and then you know, he will kind of hold things off with the Marines until he starts getting that ball really rolling with the tank count. But we never got that big, uh, super high tank count that's necessary for Mech to work um, because he did lose those tanks out in the front. You know, he kept losing tanks in those earlier pushes. Uh, so that is really the key is just that tank count. And overall, Queen played a great game, but uh, a win here or a loss, I guess, for Barracks, losing some points. Certainly didn't slow him down too much, but Queen at least able to take him out. Okay, next up we've got Hero. Hero here in the bottom left on Apocalypse. Barracks at the top center. Hero. Y'all know him. Don't pretend. This man is massive. He is so, so good right now. Absolutely bulked out of his mind. He is crazy crazy good in the late game but will barracks allow him to get there i'm so curious to see what kind of play he's got he's been very aggressive in both the two games we've seen so far very very aggressive especially with his early marines um sometimes kind of to his detriment but his control has been impeccable especially in that last game did you guys see him kill four lurkers from queen at the front that front natural as they were trying to burrow and, and defend there beside the uh sunken colonies that that is that's crazy that is really wild trying to bust sunkins with lurkers and actually making it look good he, he got a decent trade there so i'm impressed he still managed to lose that game though We'll see if he can uh, take a win here against Hero, who's going to go for a 12 hatch. And a pretty quick barracks here from barracks. Got the supply depot. He's got the, the wall back here as well. So he'll probably float the barracks over here. And then put another uh, supply depot there. And then he only has to deal with this one hole in this wall. Which is a, a pretty decent setup. Meanwhile, he's going to send two SCVs out. He saw the, the Overlord there. So two SCVs. This is going to be some sort of bunker rush here. Definitely bunker rush coming in. We'll see how Hero deals with this. How many drones are going to get pulled? I assume it's going to be eight. Let's see. How many do we have? Um, Six. So just six. Let me pulled forward here. The bunker is more than half complete. Got to be very careful. As the second marine arrives, this gets very deadly. Um, this one drone has taken some damage. He's going to get a good surround there and very, very nice. All right. He's really handled this well. He pulled this one drone back. Oh, does not pull that back. But acceptable losses here for a hero. Yeah, he's going to be fine with that. As long as he gets uh, some drones, out, or as long as he gets some uh, lings out here pretty quick. He's even going to chase this marine away. Um, 
Some lings will pop out here in a moment and yeah, Barrack shouldn't be able to do anything with this bunker. He'll have to cancel and just go ahead and throw down his, uh, his command center here. So really good control out of Hero. As expected, this man so, so solid with his control. Able to shut that down with just pure drones, even less than what I thought uh, would be standard uh, in this in this situation to deal with that. It wasn't an 8 racks or anything, so maybe you would have pulled more for an 8 racks, but... As it stands, managed to deal with that. And now his position here looking very, very nice. Looks like we're going to have the lair probably at the natural. No, okay, lair here in the main. We've got minerals uh, extra for another hatch. So three hatch play going to come out of hero. More like, a, I guess, a 2.5 variation. Just kind of throwing that down when he has the money to do so. Did deal with that SCV as well. So that's not going to be revealed. He doesn't know that it's a three hatch play here, Barracks. But he might su suspect. That is the more standard play. I know we've just seen a couple of games with both Soma and Queen, who are uh, magnificent players, using the two hatch, but I think three hatch has kind of taken over as the standard, at least for you know in the, in recent days, in recent weeks. <clears throat> or I guess uh, I should say in the past year. It does fluctuate back and forth, though. All right, two hatch Muto was in incredibly powerful and. Basically every game, <coughs> every game was a two hatch muta game, about uh, a year or two ago, until things really started to change over. Um, and the invention of the two point five hatch, people players used to do a three hatch build. It used to be before gas, right? They would throw down the third hatch, then they would get the gas, then they would go for the layer. But this one, it's it's a little bit more economical. All right, that, that's a bit more economical. 2.5 hatch is a bit quicker with the um, tech here with the with the spire. You, it helps you to get a much quicker spire. You're going to see finishing up about six minutes, which is similar to the 2.5 hatch. It's a little bit slower, but it will grant him a lot more larva. And he's going to need it, of course. Hero can do a lot with a little, but having more is always better in StarCraft 2, or StarCraft 1, excuse me. Am I thinking about StarCraft 2 right now? Been answering a lot of comments in uh, one of my videos about StarCraft 2, like 950 comments on that, that one video. It's kind of insane. Spent way too much time thinking about that, at least in the recent weeks. There's a medic out here at the front. Silly medic wandering off. Luckily, there's no lings there to capitalize on that. Two sunkins were forced here by this two racks move out. And now going up to four racks. So, that's stim timing. Not really doing too much here to hero overall. He'd already gotten the drones that he wanted. He already had the hatchery here. Spire finishes up. He was forced to build two Sunkins, but he's got plenty of Mutas for this first group. Nine Mutas. So he wasn't really hiccuped at all by that move out from Barracks. And he's going to hit very, very hard here with this first attack. And only one turret was done. Oh no, Barracks. Barracks, Barracks, my friend. What were you doing? What was the plan here? Why did you not have additional... Uh, turrets there. Well, he's gonna try and hit this front. And maybe he can break through here. That's a lot of lings being made. That is a lot of lings. Um, if I look at that, I see this number of lings as... Barracks, I think that you're gonna try and kill this marine medic group. And it's way out of position. All, uh, Hero needs to do is target this, uh... Target this one fire bat. And he messes it up. He messed up the target. He wanted to just, uh, shoot that down immediately... And then have the Lynx tank the marine damage, but he messed it up. He didn't target uh, onto that fire bat. And actually, this trade goes pretty far in Barracks' favor. 
A lot of links were lost. More links are gonna come forward here. There's actually no, wait a second. Oh my God. No medics with that. This is just a supply train of Marines coming across the map and Barracks loses way more with that supplying army than he did with the main army. Um, very, very efficient there for Hero. Now Hero does have to back away. He took quite a bit of damage on his Muta. So Muta count is highly reduced. He's trying to get into the next stages of the game. So making that transition, he hasn't really been producing Mutas and Lings all that much. So this group on the map is kind of scary. It has one medic with it. A lot of these Marines are damaged. So if he finds it, he might be able to wipe this out. I think he definitely can. Um, has those eight Mutas now. Eight Mutas definitely enough. He spotted that Marine medic group with that Overlord as well. So knowing where that is he's gonna try and head that off if he finds this i think he can wipe it out uh, it'll be up to barracks how he controls here but this medic is just not enough another stim here that medic is drained of energy now look at this it's gonna go down to just about zero energy here as it heals up one last time another marine medic group moving out i don't think you want to allow these uh two groups to to combine here if you can at all help it these Marines are going to be very useful in that in that other army, but I think he should be able to deal with this. Hero going to try and take the best angle possible. Looks like he's found it. Picking off two Marines before the fight even starts. He's got to get in here and actually finish this off. The couple of medics moving over here. They're going to group up with these uh, other Marines. He's going to get the medic. Medic goes down. Going after these. He's got to finish this off right here, right now. Two uh, Lurkers pop out. He does get the Lurkers underground, and these Marines are just going to pop like little red cherries here one of the lurkers did get focused down there but with two side by side plus the mutas here overhead i think he's going to be able to hold lings and lurkers moving out on the map he should be able to catch this or if not surround this army here it looks like he's going to catch this first and then he should be able to come forward and surround the rest of the army these marines realizing the position they're in they're going to run for their lives heading northward and out of harm's way at least for now hero playing a brilliant game so far has the carapace upgrade on the way very scrappy this one really truly with barracks being very aggressive it's kind of hurt him a bit in this game what does he have back at home that five racks play now switching into full-on sk terran so Barracks in these games has shown a very wide range of different builds that he's comfortable with. SK Terran, mech transition, um, you know, going for uh, Valkyrie plays, feeling very confident in all of his styles. Four lurkers here. It looks like two, but it is most certainly not. He's gonna just run up here and try to gun these down. Oh my God, two in this last stack. Lings are going down. This one last lurker is going to fall. Where are all the mutas? Where are all the units here? Nidus Canal is going to be uh, helping these drones to escape for the most part, but a lot of them are still going to go down. The mutas coming forward now with the Lings. Is this it? Hero's been broken? Wow. GG Barracks with a timing attack here able to break through this defensive position which i thought was probably unbreakable there's not a lot of space here to to move through and a big stack of lurkers but he managed to kill two of them at the same time uh, focusing them down very very nicely and i guess the lurker spines got a little bit too spread I know that two shots will kill. Oh, he's actually got infantry armor. Ah, okay. So the infantry armor makes it so it takes three lurker hits to kill a marine. Whereas if you don't have that armor, it only takes two. And then if the zerg manages to get plus one attack, then it takes two again. So taking advantage of this really crisp timing here and the lack of a high ground base, no ramp means that barracks able to break through and take out hero in a nice quick game oh boy guys do i have a treat for you this really should be its own video but what the hell we'll throw it in here at the end for you guys who have stuck around 
and watched all the way through. Really appreciate everyone who's been subscribing recently and supporting, of course, through Patreon. It uh, helps me to keep the lights on here. And uh, no, I really do want to make this my main thing. I want to make YouTube something that maybe I can that, that I can support my my meager living standards with here in Japan. I definitely don't need much. Bit of a minimalist, and my wife and I are um, looking for an apartment now here. Yeah, it's so cheap, guys. Uh, I I won't uh, bore you with the details, but it's very very cheap. It's like around 500 bucks a month for a two bedroom place. Which, if you're someone in Canada right now, I bet your eyes just popped out of your head. But that's actually what it's like here. And that's that's in a, in a city as well. It's not some random shack in the countryside, by the way. But it's very, very reasonable. And so I'm, I'm excited to be getting our new place here pretty soon. But I digress, guys. Yeah, I've, I've towed you along for, for long enough here. This is JYJ. <laughs> we got JYJ playing Zerg in the top left. I don't know what he's doing. Is he just practicing for fun? Uh, some Zerg. Is he thinking about maybe doing a random run? I don't know, but he's pretty high up on the ladder on his Zerg uh, Smurf account. And uh, he managed to run into Barracks. So let's see how Barracks handles him here on La Campanea. I've actually got two games between these two. Spoiler alert, two games. So we're going to watch them in chronological order here. And assuming this is probably the first time that Barracks has ever played against JYJ's Zerg. And I don't think he actually knows that this is this is uh, JYJ either. Seems like he just made a pretty decent barcode. Not a lot of people are going to have that. Uh, but you will rec when when there's some ones in there it's a little hard to recognize but eventually you will recognize that the reason he's got ones in there instead of just a straight barcode it's because literally all the barcodes have been taken it's kind of insane this is just a mix of uppercase i's lowercase l's and yeah people have taken that over i think there's one other thing you can do what is it um yeah, I can't remember. Maybe like Slash or something like that you can also add in there. I don't remember. But um, even all, with all the different imaginable combos of that and lengths of that, it's still hard to find an open barcode because so many of them have been, have been taken, like I said. That's why we also saw Soma with that like V and W barcode a little bit earlier. Trying to hide his identity just slightly, but uh, just probably just couldn't find. Couldn't find an ID. Uh, that was open uh, with the barcode. So a couple of Ling's going to get in here. JYJ getting in there with those two Ling's. Probably going to kill this one Marine if there's not perfect micro. And yeah, there's not perfect micro. So he does end up losing that one Marine. Other Marines were kind of out here on the map while I was talking. I wasn't really paying attention to the game. Sorry, guys. We've got an SCV that happened to hop over the wall there in the natural haven't killed any SCVs yet but we might be able to get something and he sees the factory so that's huge seeing the factory here already that is a massive tell as to what uh, barracks wants to go for and just looking at his build right now he's not gonna have that uh typical move out timing that he's been doing every game with the two racks move out he's just gonna have some early uh ground units here. He's going to have some early factory units, um, namely vultures, and then he may be going into like a very quick Valkyrie, something like that. Um, I doubt this is going to be for like straight up uh, Goliath play, mech play here. So yeah, we do have a starport on the way. We should be seeing a uh, academy here once the starport is just, just about finished up. That way when the Control tower is done immediately. That Valkyrie can be made. And actually, he's thinking about moving out across the map. I don't like this. There's really nothing to gain here by moving out with these Marines. You're not going to force anything. There's already a sunken colony here at the front. And just naked Marines are never going to beat a sunken colony. 
you need that that healing to make it worth it. I can't quite see, I think, the sunken that the sunken is there. Um, so he's gonna come all the way up here. He's just gonna see it and just yeah, okay. Time to go home. So he's gonna head all the way back home. We've got one one medic here and more barracks on the way in production. Where's the is this is this armory? There it is. Armory is going to be done. But it looks like the armory is a little bit ill-timed. See, the armory is just not quite done yet. Mutas are already on the way. Turrets are coming up here in the natural and the main. He's going to be prepared for the mutas, at least with the turrets. But he can't make a Valkyrie yet, unfortunately. That's just a little bit off. So something to keep in mind. He's not going to have that Valkyrie count. Like, the Valkyrie count... The first Valkyrie, like, when the first Valkyrie pops out is not that big of a deal. What really matters is getting to that three Valkyrie number, right? So you want to keep the Valkyries alive. And it looks like it's going to pop out here in just another minute or so. Barely enough time here for JYJ to slip in, deal a tiny bit of damage. Man, I'm really not used to casting JYJ as a Zerg player. But I'm doing my best here. We've got... JYJ circling around, heading over here towards the natural. Gonna deal some damage there as well. Gonna slide in, get a couple kills on these SCVs, but the Valkyrie is now here. He does avoid as well taking any damage on those Marines from the Valkyrie. So, really good uh, work here so far. He sees the Scourge. Oh, sneaky play from JYJ. Having the Scourge there right on time, knowing that he could, if the Valkyrie committed to getting some, some hits there, he could have actually sniped that. But the Valkyrie pulls back immediately. Barracks completely wise to this. He knows what JYJ is trying to do. He's trying to bait those Valkyries into taking an engage and snipe it down. Just slow down that overall buildup from the Terran player where you're going to get into that three Valkyrie play. We've actually got a drop on the way. Ooh, he gets the first one. So only one Valkyrie remains. And that is not good here for JYJ, man. He really needs to get more defenses up here in the natural. He could be getting taken out right now. We've seen him before, even when there were lurkers break through uh, defenses like this, and now that there are no lurkers, just hydras and sunkins, my goodness, the muta's just getting wrecked here. The muta's doing the best that they can to just deal damage directly to the marines, and I guess that was the right choice. He did not focus the Valkyrie first, interestingly enough, right? He made sure that he could kill off the marines. That was the main priority. He was constantly just targeting down those marines, Thank God there wasn't a second uh, Valkyrie there, right? Because the Mutals would have died way before the Marines could be picked off. A couple of uh, Lurkers being built. We've got the Sun Colony about to go down. This small group of Marine and Medic is a really big headache right now for JYJ. He could actually use some, some Hydras right here, but the Lurkers are going to pop. He's going to target down that Lurker immediately. Great target. Getting the second Lurker. Just barely not. Wow. Two! Two HP, my friends. That was a very close to a kill. That was very close to a kill there. And a dropship heading around the left side of the map. We do have Scourge over here. But will he notice it? I think we're going to go for this spot right in this corner. <gasps> oh, the Scourge! He does get it! Oh, that's so big. JYJ picking off that dropship is massive. Now he can just come through here. With the Lurkers, casually take this out. He still manages to kill one Lurker. Man, Barracks is good at sniping those down. But we're transitioning into factories again. Look at this, another factory coming up. We're going for uh, attack upgrades. Getting into a Radiate. He's grabbed his third base. He's going to start pumping out some Vultures here. Getting Mines out on the map. Very interesting to see Barracks play, man. This guy is... Uh, full of surprises mr bag of builds over here he's got so many different builds to choose from and he's gonna test out his factory play once again and guys i want to mention this was played before the game versus queen 
So maybe this is the game where he gained that confidence in this build to take it and try and use it against Queen. It, if it takes down JYJ, hey, might have something there. Not that JYJ is really known for being a great Zerg player, but he is a fantastic player. And most pro players, man, they can absolutely play the other races. It, maybe not at the very highest level, but the skill set that it takes to become good at any of the races, a lot of it does translate. There's, of course, different nuances and stuff. Of course, there's timings and all that that you have to learn. And um, that does take a lot of time. And I don't ever, th I don't think the JYJ will ever be able to compete at the very highest level, of course, as a Zerg player. But you know, he's he's definitely going to be able to take games off of pro players, for sure. Here and there is what I'll say. And we've got a lurker attack coming up here. It's going to go ahead and try to get in on this third base, but. There's enough uh, irradiates here. There's enough vultures. Oh, two vessels go down. Really nice snipes there by JYJ. Picking up the first two vessels. That, That is nothing to sneeze at here. Two vessels picked off already. Very, very painful. He's baited the Mutalus in. Oh, God. Muta's just getting wiped out here. Very unfortunate there for JYJ. I think he went back to hit a macro round and... Thought that the Mutas were going to be fine, just right-clicking them over there, but baited in with the Irradiate. They head over and get massacred, so that was a big win for JYJ, man. He just annihilated the entire army. Or, sorry, a big win for Barracks there. He annihilated the entire army of JYJ, and now he's got a great position out here on the map. Look at all this. Mines everywhere. Barracks spotting everything. He's got mines at both corners of the map. Everything is kind of locked down. And this is what I was saying uh, in that game versus Queen, right? Like, if you... If he had, like, built up a defensive position around his base over here, and then he double expands, takes this base as well, his position is going to start to look really, really nice. Oh, that's annoying. Just one SCV going to go down there. The three Mutalisk attack. Might be able to deny this command center. Just because it takes so long to get the Goliaths back here. Looks like he is going to take a huge amount of damage from this uh, Irradiate. But it's not going to matter. He does have to rebuild that command center. Which is going to just slow everything down. So very nice move there from JYJ. Just to, just to uh, buy himself a bit of time. But we are on even bases. We are on even bases. Terran. Barracks. He's got mines covering the map. We don't have Overload Speed yet. It's just about to finish. So now, finally, JYJ can start to move out and, you know, clear all of this. But this has bought Barracks a lot of time. His tank count is going to be looking spicy. Wait, where's his tank count? What am I looking at here? Okay, he finally added on three more uh, machine shops. But what is this? One tank? Oh boy, we might actually be in trouble here. One tank is not gonna do you too well in this type of situation. You really need more than this, but look at the supply. Holy cow, 73 workers. What was that, 30 workers more than the Zerg player? Good God, this man has a lot of SCVs. His income's gonna be insane. He's gonna get the fourth gas here soon. Then you'll really start to be able to push out the tanks. We've got quite a few Goliaths. Tanks are moving over here. He does not want to allow this to be denied. So just making sure that it cannot be easily denied here. It's very, very good for him. Vultures moving around the top side of the map. I want to keep laying down mines whenever Hydra's abandoned a position. You want to come over and lay down some more mines to make sure that rallies can't easily make it across the map. Riley's going to move through the right-hand side. Now we've got some Hydras over here dealing with that. Another base going to go up here in the top right, but I don't know how JYJ or how uh, Barracks intends to hold that location. I don't think he will. Going to have to cancel that command center for sure. This might be a little hold more holdable, right? 
Like, if you spread out here, you've got some defense here. And you can kind of spread your defense along this line. Maybe you can secure this base. And then if you can secure that, you can probably secure that in the bottom left as well. I don't know how you're going to secure this. This seems uh, a little bit... Um, because you also have to defend here. This seems a little bit ambitious to secure all of upper, upper right. We've got some... Vultures coming down here. He's trying to secure this uh, command center down here in the bottom left now. Again, not going for the one I was thinking, but whatever. Whatever, I guess. Lurkers here in the middle. Just kind of throwing some damage out against these vultures, but they're a little bit too quick. Dodging around that. Are we going to see queens? Yeah, we're going to see queens. You should have upgrades going already. Six queens on the way here. Four gases for JYJ. But even bases does not feel good. It does not feel good. And if this continues, I think we're going to see a barracks victory. However, big drop here over into the bottom center. A lot of these uh, overlords are going to lose. Actually, most of the stuff actually got out of here. Uh, impressive for JYJ to get most of his stuff out is not easy. He needs to run up here, start to damage his command center because if he can get a queen in, he could kill that. Where's the queens at? Where's the queens at? Buddy, don't let me down right now. Send the queen. Send the queen. Okay, he's gonna kill it anyway. So he gets the command center, but uh, lets me down permanently. Not a big fan of barracks anymore. Just kidding. We've got a huge army moving through the middle of the map now. He's going to send this northward. And I don't see a defiler with this. A lot of queens. They do not have energy, though. We're still a good 40 seconds away from that energy. And he may be forced to take a, a big fight here before uh, he wants to, before he has that energy. Oh, God, he loses two vessels <laughs> before this fight even starts. Bit of slop here from Barracks, but he's pushing forward. Looking for the kill on this center left base. Fighting with the Hydras here in low numbers. JYJ going to get minced by this army if he tries to engage it. Another 20 seconds left on some of these queens. He's just got to buy that little bit of extra time. And then he'll get that clone cloning going and hit this army with all of his Hydras at once. He's still got a group of Hydras down here that's been cut off. The kill on that fourth base was nice, but now he's got to hold this army. Otherwise, he will just lose. Even after losing that, uh, or even after killing that one base, it's still not enough. You have to do more. Great targeting here by Barracks, killing off a lot of these queens before they get there. Oh, no. Terrible micro here from JYJ with the remainder of the queens. That's it. He's dead. What the heck was that? Throwing away his broodlings here. Has a lot of money left in the bank as well now. Does not have the Hydra count. I think he was a little, probably a little too focused on what was going on uh, with that drop. Maybe he missed a macro round or two. Um, needed to have a lot more units to deal with this. He's still hanging in there, but this is, this is too much. There's way too many tanks. Look at all these tanks coming in here. The mech army is way too strong, and JYJ taps out. No surprise. Barracks able to take him down. But it was a fun game. Definitely love to see the mech, mech transition out of Barracks here. And would you look at that? Another La Compania game. That is uh, a shock. Quite the coincidence that so many of the games versus Zerg here for Barracks have been on La Compania. Just lucky, I guess. Maybe there's like some common maps that are being banned by both sides, by Zerg pros and Terran pros alike. And then this is just one of the maps that no one is banning. And that's why we're getting it more, but not really sure if that's the case. I would think that Zerg would probably ban this map, actually. I feel like this map is a little bit Terran favored. Possibly. Just because middle control is so good. And you can kill the gas over the wall uh, for the third base. Maybe. 
Also, there's no high ground basis to take around, so you can't really hold on with a lurker too easily. But, um... Yeah, we'll see how this one goes, guys. JYJ, once again, on the Zerg. Here in the top left. He's gonna go for... It's like a little spawning pool action here. So, going for an overpool. Um... I think he got an extra drone before he went for the pool. Was that like a 10 pool or something? Maybe 11 pool, something like that. Pretty close. Usually you can you can get your you can get your pool down before the overlord pops there if you go for an over pool, but I think this is just a response to how popular the 8 racks build has been lately. And I don't think this is 8 racks. I'll go back and check later, but I don't think this is 8 racks. This is just a, a forward racks here <clears throat> with the supply depot at the front. It's going to put on some pressure. If it is an 8 racks, it's still pretty common now, nowadays, to go for the 8 racks opener and just put that little bit of pressure on. They can become a, a huge amount of pressure if you pull SCVs and stuff like that, but. You come across with a few marines, you just kind of force out some drones, you like force them to build some extra lings, that kind of thing. He sees the timing of the hatchery and realizes, okay, well, we can't do that now because lings are going to be coming out here. Uh, there's no way that your hatchery's this late if you're gone for a 12 hat, so. Put some damage on the SCV and now the lings are going to go across the map. We have that little wall in, but it's not complete just yet. He needs another supply depot here in the middle, but he's going to start his command center not wanting to build that because he's already built a supply depot in the main this could be problematic here for barracks he's gonna pull some scvs kind of block here at the front he's gonna have a fourth marine out in a second six links are gonna arrive here what's the oh he just barely throws down that just in time here running by getting on top of this Gonna send one Ling to kill this Marine, and the other two Lings are gonna go in the main, kill these Marines. Very nice kills there for JYJ. Cleaning out all these Marines in the early game is so, so good. It just really limits what the Terran player can do. And he's even gonna get into the main base. See that there's no gas started yet. And there's the gas now just being taken. 347. Gonna take that gas geyser and JYJ got to be feeling great right now. He knows everything that's going on. And he got a lot of kills. He made those early links worth it. Very, very worth it. And he knows that probably Barracks is going for a normal style here. Not going to go for another kind of weirdo uh, mech transition again uh, with Valkyrie and that kind of, kind of thing. He's just going to go for what appears to be a two racks play. We'll see if he adds on more, though. Since he did lose those early Marines, we'll just have to wait and see about that. CV is being transferred here. Spire being thrown down. We should see a third hatch here pretty soon. The SCV, I like... I, I actually think this is really smart by Barracks. You know what he's doing with this? He sent this over the wall so that if a uh, drone comes down here, he can, like, fight with it. it. I guess it would lose because it's only got 20 HP left. And especially with micro, you should be able to kill that. But then he'll know. He will know that you're, you've are you gone for that play. Quite a lot of lings have been built here. A little bit surprising the number of lings that have been built and sent across the map here for JYJ. It feels like he wants to run in. That would be probably not good. Oh, he's going to run in at the perfect time right as... The Terran player moves away from the wall in. He comes running in here with the lings. Gets quite a few marines. He's going to be able to run into the main as well. Right as that medic was popping out. Barracks moved away from that wall in. And now he's in for a world of hurt here. He's going to lose so many SCVs. He's going to lose this marine. Oh god. Great control there. Keep that marine alive. This one not so lucky. Going to be picked off. Another marine pops out. He's going to go after that as well. The more marines he can pick off here, the better um, his position is going to be. He's going to go after this one too. Might be able to get that one. No, not being able to get that one, but we've got two Marines, guys. Two. We don't have any turrets started yet. We just are halfway done. So we need turrets right now. Right, right, right now. Turrets are starting. 
but I think it might be a little bit late. Because the Mutas, they do take a quick second to kill that SCV, but they're going to be sent straight across the map now. Turrets are just barely going to finish in time, it looks like. Yeah, that timing, though. So sick. Does get the turret out here. Has a big... Uh, this is a, quite a vulnerable area, but he's got two more turrets coming up here. A third as well. Really taking the threat seriously at this base. This is just so hard to defend, guys. Really, really tough to defend this area. So he's going to commit most of his resources there. And he's going to commit just a small amount of resources to the main and to these barracks here. To make sure that they are safe. Plus one is on the way. Giving that marine range for now. But so far, Bex has been completely on the back foot. Hasn't really had much to say uh, coming out on the map against JYJ here. JYJ taking advantage of this map. Dealing some damage there at the natural. I didn't. I saw that no mining was being done on gas for quite some time. So Barrack's really trying to optimize here. Get his minerals as quickly as possible and get these barracks out as fast as he can. He's gone into three barracks, four barracks, excuse me. We'll see if he adds on a fifth or not. Back at home, Queen's Nest on the way. No Hydrogen. Killing off this turret, but being a little sloppy with the drones back at home, not really getting them to mining on time. It's tough. It's very, very tough here. Even as a, a player as seasoned as JYJ, not able to get all of his miners working while microing all of the mutas, trying to deal that damage. What I tend to do and what I find kind of works for me is coming in, do, you know, doing a little attack. Then you you wait for the, uh, the Marines to stim. Right as the Marines stim, you click somewhere over here. Then you go back and you check, you know, you do your macro cycle you hit your drones make sure they're all mining and then you come back and you come back in and by the time you're back in uh the the stim is worn off and you've kind of gained a little bit of value and then you do it again come back in force another stim back back out again uh-oh uh-oh what am i looking at here jyj uh, not respecting the marine medic move out across the map it is not a long rush distance and he's already here in the natural whereas all these mutas are still on the other side of the map. He's gonna be able to pick off. Oh god, what, a, what, 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 what is this? What is this? Mutas flying through. I thought he was gonna pick off some um, medics there at the back and uh, just kind of cut this off at the neck, but he flew right by that. Now he's gonna start to pick off the medics going after this army, but more Marines arrive at the last second here, wiping out these mutas. I think a quick victory for Barracks. Is going to be the result. More and more Marines coming. He is incredible with his rallies. Truly, truly good with those rallies. Always coming across the map with another group of Medic Marine. Oh, God. Some misfires here. Three misfires in a row for JYJ. You can see that he is just not uh, quite to the skill, seal, uh, skill level of our other pro Zerg players. And he goes down and yeah i mean that's that's painful man watching him miss those three shots there was actually a little bit cathartic because i do the exact same thing like all the time i'm trying really desperately to hold on against something and my mutas they just won't shoot it's so hard to get them to shoot sometimes especially when you're under pressure it's like barracks just sticking around for another minute to finish them off kill all the drones kill the hive he has left the game. And guys, we've got just a couple more games here for you, but they are not pro players. So I thank you for sticking around to this point. I will understand if you want to move on, but I am still interested. I still want to see more games from Barracks. I want to investigate this guy just a little bit further. And we do have some games uh, against some uh, unknown players. So stick around. Yes, yes, we've got another game here. We're going to be looking at this no-name player versus Barracks. And yes, this video is probably over an hour long. And no, I am not addicted. I can stop anytime I want. But let's go on into this game. 
I was looking for a map that was not La Campanea, and I fell on this one. This was one of the most recent games that he played, when Barracks played on Ladder. And I couldn't find a name for this guy. Uh, we'll call him Colon, because <laughs> he's got two colons there. Uh, so Colon here is a pretty strong player, but unknown. At least on my list of known pro player IDs. He is... Uh, one of the unknowns here. So take that for what it is. Still a very strong player. And being unknown means that he's probably unknown to Barrick. So what he's going to pull out here is anybody's guess. Tempest, a huge map. We're already in cross position. So there's a lot that uh, you can do as a Zerg player in cross spawns like this on four player map. This high ground here, very, very useful. If you want, you can stack up a bunch of uh, sunken colonies here. You can take another base, stack up a bunch of sunken colonies there, and, you know, go crazy Zerg. Just skip over Lurker, skip over uh, the other tanks, and just go straight into Carapus upgrades and Ultra if you want. You could play a normal game. You could go for a Mutalus Gall in. Because you got this high ground over here. You can really harass these minerals. There's also this area here. If the commsat is on the side of the mineral patches, it's a lot harder to get up here and deal with an attack up here. But it's still difficult to get through here and actually deal with Mutas kind of bothering you up in that spot. Looks like we've got some early links here at the front. Wasn't fully paying attention. Sorry, guys. Once again, <laughs> talking about the map too much, but... We had a spawning pool, so a Ling opener here. It's not going to be too impactful, though, because Barracks has held it pretty much the way you want to, which is bringing some SCVs to the little ramp there and blocking them out until he has enough Marines to, to deal with it uh, head on. So everything's just going to be forced back in a way. And Colin here is going to be, be uh, getting into his lair pretty darn soon and there it is layer has started barracks gonna scout that now knows the exact pretty much exact timing of the layer he doesn't know exactly when it started because he came in after it started morphing but he's got a pretty good understanding of where he's at in this game and as that natural started up here academy on the way looks like he's planning to play just the normal style here marine medic get out on the map try to deal some damage in the form of forcing sunken colonies or perhaps busting through if there's not quite enough in time i don't see any lings out in front of this base and colon here has missed a crucial move out moment from his opponent i feel we don't have a sunken colony in the front he managed to kill the scv but you do want to leave one ling out here leave one ling over there maybe bring all the rest of the lings home to go ham on that SCV, but you do not want to allow the Marine Army to move across the map without you actually knowing about it, because he could be in a lot of trouble, but for luckily for him, Barrick's not really going to do anything with it. He just moved out a little bit. Now he's going to be back here in the natural, waiting for his additional Barracks to finish up. Yeah, it is just going to be that two Barracks play. He's got the Engineering Bay on the way now at the appropriate time. He's going to get a couple of medics, and he should be pushing across the map. No defensive bunker or anything, so he'll probably have to make a fire bat or two uh, to follow this up. Just to make sure the lings don't counterattack and deal too much damage, but... I'm sure that Barracks will be more than prepared for that eventuality. Three hatch muta is about to pop as that spire finishes... He's going to be looking to produce uh, 9 mutas, but he does not have that money. Only 500 gas and 500 minerals, so maximum he can produce is probably going to be 6 mutas here. Right as that finishes up. And yeah, you can see his timing just not quite as good as Hero. Right, Hero was able to get so many mutas out. Or was that, was that Hero or was that Queen? Forgive me guys, I cannot remember. 
my memory is absolutely shot at this point. I've watched so many games. But, uh, yeah, just not quite at the level of a pro player. Hasn't really been under that much pressure either, but just not quite hitting the build here. We'll have, what is six mutas coming out? So three less mutalas in the, you know, initial clump of mutas that's going to be popping. He's got two overlords in production as well. Um, I guess this is two more mutas. Yeah, two more mutas coming up. So let's see what he can do with six mutas. Barracks has shown amazing control throughout this video. Throughout these games here. In dealing with the mutas and, you know, warding them away without taking too much damage he's got range done plus one's not there yet plus one attack is coming up horses to stim that's fine we don't need to attack here just yet okay does come back in that's not good almost loses a meter already hasn't even taken a single swipe just yet another good shot here from barracks barracks just kind of outplaying right now i've got to be honest gets a muta already one marine for one meter you take that trade every single day of the week. Gonna force these mutas back. They're kind of looking at the high ground right now. Maybe they want to fly in toward the main, but doesn't have any sunkins back at home, so he can't really do that. More lings being produced right now. So lings with mutas. Maybe he can find a, a position where he can you know, overwhelm this bio force. Take a good trade. Already losing a few lings. This bio force looking so strong. And yeah, he, he looks at that and he goes, nope, cannot take that fight. And since he can't take the fight, he's just going to have to back away once again. More links coming out. A few stra stray overlords moving in with this army as well. We've got the full 12 mutas here. A lot of links ready to go. Maybe if he gets them to stim one more time and string out a little bit, maybe he can uh, surround with links and stuff. But you got to get a good angle. You got to come in from multiple angles here. Lings cannot just be wandering in like this. And here comes Barracks down this hill with, with with presence, man. This guy, he moves with such confidence with this Marine Medic Force. And he's moving another Marine Medic Force around the top side uh, with which to deny that third base. So I think we're going to see this get dived upon. But like the moment this happens, we're going to lose the third base. So he comes in from multiple angles. He hits it with the mutas and the uh, lings. Does a pretty decent job cleaning that up, but he's only got eight mutas left, and he had more than 12 uh, when that fight started. So losing this third hatch, he's just going to let that go. Drones are going to die for free. Definitely could have thought about canceling those, but not in the heat of the moment. Just going to go for a full-on counterattack here. Barracks has basically won this game in my mind, but desperation attack here towards the main base gonna do his best here killing off as many marines as he can but ultimately everything gonna get shoved out and just not enough damage back at home he's got some sunken so this marine medic group won't kill but he can park here and just prevent lings from coming forward and it's just all in from here i think for this zerg player colon Colin just about to get shit out by Barracks now. Barracks uh, taking a grunt, taking care of this player. I really don't mean to insult whoever this is. I actually have no idea who this is, so it could actually be a pro player, but it doesn't look like a pro player to me. The way that he's uh, handling this. He's really trying to get in here and force the Marines back into the main so the Lynx can come in and kill some turrets, but it's just not working out. Barracks is rapidly moving towards his next tech. Looks like some Marines are going to go down here in the front. As long as the Marine group stays high enough, though, to fight the Mutas, he's not going to be able to make that progress. More Marines come back from the front. They're going to reinforce this position, and yeah. That's a lot of mutas. That's quite a number of lings, but it's just not enough. Diving here on top of this. Ling's going to trade out pretty badly with these marines, and GG is called. The Barracks taps out. Guys, thank you for sticking with me. I think I've seen all that I needed to see. Barracks, just a legendary player right now. He's doing so good, grinding up hard on that ladder. 
really impressing us today. I'm going to keep an eye on him in the future. Let me know if you want to see some TVT out of him as well, because most of the games actually he's played on the ladder have been TVT. But I just haven't gotten into them because it's not really my specialty. It's not really my matchup. Um, PVZ, or PVT is not really my matchup either, but I'm probably the, the most dumb about TVT, honestly. But let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this, if you want to see more. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.